She put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat about a bow shot away, for she thought, I cannot watch the boy die. And as she sat there, she began to sob. Baby, you can call me a Superman. Cho -cho -ta 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 hey, yo, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. It's your boy, Jesse Keegan. And we are Fanny and Jesse. So right about now, we're going to do another reaction video. But before we get into the reaction, guys, I want to thank everybody out there who's been subscribing to the channel. You are the realest time VP. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, you want to thank the people who've been giving us amazing comments. People who also, the people who've been like uh, giving us like informative information in the comment section below. You guys are really amazing. Anyway, so today we're going to do another reaction video. And this one right here was suggested by a lot of people. And they suggested that we should go react to Mecca and pilgrimage to eat in the Bible. So this is something that is probably new and probably I'm going to learn today. And yeah, so without any further ado, guys, let's get it. Mecca and the pilgrimage to it in the Bible. As Muslims, we believe that Islam is the religion of all the prophets of God, Abraham, Moses, Jesus, and Muhammad, peace be upon them. Therefore, we believe that Moses and Jesus foretold the coming of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and they referred to the holy sites for his followers. Allah said in the Quran, Indeed, the first house of worship established for mankind was Bakka, blessed and guidance for the worlds. As we see here, another name for Mecca, the holy site for Muslims, is Bekka. We also see this name mentioned in the Bible, in the Psalms of 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord Almighty! My soul yearns even faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and my flesh cry out for the living God. Even the sparrow has found a home, and the swallow a nest for herself where she may have her young. A place near your altar, O Lord Almighty, my King and my God, blessed are those who dwell in your house. They are ever praising you, Selah. Blessed are those whose strength is in you, who have set their hearts on pilgrimage as they pass through the valley of Bekka. They make it a place of springs, the autumn rains, also covered with pools. From this we can gather the following. In this place is the house of God. Its name is Bekka. It's a valley and it's not mountains. In this place the Lord is praised and it's a place for pilgrimage. This is a valley and it's dry. Inside it there is a spring of water. All these descriptions fit Mecca as well. It's the house of God. The Lord is praised and people go to it for pilgrimage. Mecca is a valley. It's dry and it has Zamzam spring water. In the book of Genesis, it talks about when Zamzam spring water was made by God, when Hagar was left in the desert by Abraham. It says, When the water in the skin was gone, she put the boy under one of the bushes. Then she went off and sat about a bow shot away, for she thought, I cannot watch the boy die. And as she sat there, she began to sob. God heard the boy crying, and the angels of God came to Hagar from heaven and said to her, What's the matter, Hagar? Do not be afraid. God has heard the boy crying as he lies there. Lift the boy up and take him by hand, for I will make him into a great nation. In another place in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah, it talks about the place where a new spring water will burst, and we call the place of holiness. Again, exactly describes Mecca. Then will come the lame, leap like a deer, and the mute tongue shout for joy. Water will gush forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. The burning sand will become pool, and the thirsty ground bubbling spring. In the hunts where jackals once lay, grass and reeds and piperus will grow, and a highway will be there. It will be called the way of holiness. It will be for those who walk on that way, the unclean will not journey on it. Wicked fool will not go about on it. The question is, where is this springs of water is? And where is this great nation? It's the nation that came to follow the last messenger of God, who was the descendant of Ishmael, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, who was sent to the mountains of Paran, which is Mecca nowadays. In the Bible we read, 
this is the blessing that Moses, the man of God, pronounced on the Israelites before his death. He said, The Lord came from Sinai and down over from their seer. He shone forth from Mount Paran. Meaning, the Lord came from Sinai is referring to the coming of Moses, and down over from Seir, referring to the coming of Jesus, and shone forth from Paran is referring to the coming of the final prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Jesus, peace be upon him, told us that one day people will praise the Lord in another place other than Jerusalem, in reference to Mecca. In the book of John we read, Sir, the woman said, I can see that you are a prophet. Our ancestors worshipped on this mountain, but you Jew claim that the place where we must worship is in Jerusalem. Woman, Jesus replied, believe me, a time is coming when you will worship the Father neither in this mountain nor in Jerusalem. It is well known that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him came from the lineage of Prophet Ishmael, and one of the sons of Ishmael is Kedar. Also, it is known to all Muslims that when someone goes to Mecca, pilgrims do a lot of praising. Knowing these facts, let's see what the Bible says in the book of Isaiah. Sing to the Lord new song, his praise from the end of the earth, you who will go down to the sea on all that is in it, you islands and all who live in them. Let the wilderness and its towns raise their voice. Let the settlements where Kedar lived rejoice. Let the people of Sela sing for joy. Let them shout from the mountain tops. Mecca is the holy place to Muslims where Muslims are obligated to go there once in their lifetime. While there, they follow the rituals of Prophet Abraham, peace be upon him. Islam is not a new religion. It is the religion of all prophets of God. It's the religion of Jesus and Moses and Muhammad. And that's what the Bible says. Follow the truth. If you have questions about Islam, ask a Muslim. Such an amazing video idea, man. I mean, so much information to be taken in. Um, I, you know, when I, when I was growing up, I never used to understand what uh, Mecca was and what is what is really happening over there and what not but uh, gladly enough now that I'm following up the Islam uh, religion and what not like I'm kind of trying to understand and, and, and internalize and probably follow the Quran I mean uh, and also you know by reacting to these videos it actually gives me uh, enough information to understand what Mecca is and what exactly uh, people uh, do when they go there and stuff like that you know such an amazing uh, time to live and uh, the video is just amazing so informative is giving us reference from the Bible actually I mean this is so amazing so so amazing anyway and I, I also had a question that um, according to what the video was saying uh, he said that uh, Muslims are supposed to visit Mecca at least um, in their lifetime you know what happens if you don't go to mecca you get it is it that you you read enough or is is it that it's just something that you have to but it's not a must like it's it's not compulsory you get it. just let me know the comment section is it compulsory you have to be there like uh, probably just in your lifetime you have to go there and 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 and, and visit mecca is it a must or is it not a must just let me know in the comment section below um maybe other people also want to know like is it a mass is it compulsory as a muslim you have to go there and visit mecca and is it only muslims who are allowed to go to mecca or any other religion you can go to mecca you get it just let me know in the comment section below thank you so much for tuning in on this uh session today it's such an amazing video uh mecca and pilgrimage to eat in the bible i mean everything that has been mentioned here has has been actually given a reference in the bible so these things are real it's not that like it's not like something that you just you know think about them and you just come up with them these things are real the reference in the in the, in the holy books and whatnot uh such an amazing such an amazing 
video anyway guys if you feel like i reacted to this video in a better way just give me a thumbs up and don't forget to go down our comment section below and tell us exactly what you want us to react to and we're gonna do it for you and the most important thing guys don't forget to subscribe to our channel the more you keep on subscribing the more you give us the motivation to do a lot of videos and to give you a better better content another important thing guys we have our new channel that is called finance jesse 2.0 make sure to go and subscribe to the channel we're gonna put the link on the comment section below. The first comment, we're gonna pin it. Just make sure to go and hit that link and make sure to just, you know, watch our videos, man. And uh, we really, really thank you so, so much. Thank you for supporting us. You are really, really amazing. And yeah, I there's a brother who wanted me to talk about my experience on reading the Quran. I'm gonna do a separate video for that one. I have not forgotten yet. We also have our address on the description box below. If you want to send us anything just you can send us anything um, anything that you feel like is gonna be useful for us before we really wanted you guys to send us the currencies like it doesn't matter how much it can be like one dollar can be we really wanted to have a collection of currencies maybe from the Indonesia maybe from Palestine maybe from Arab maybe from um, you know Germany maybe from the United States yeah just check out the the address in the description below and you can send us anything it doesn't have to be a lot of money you don't need a lot of money you just need just uh just a one dollar note maybe just the lowest form of note that you people have in your country just send it to us we really want to have a collection of you know other than that you can send us anything you can send us gifts if you want yeah man we really really be appreciative and also thank you so much for supporting this channel you're the realest mvp and yeah thank you thank you thank you so much last but not the least we're gonna see in the next video and peace out